Welcome aboard Thames Sailing Barge Victor, born in 1895 and still going strong. Today, the 31st of January 2015, is a big day for Sailing Barge Victor and her skipper Wes Westwood. She's already delivered England's first Queen Elizabeth to the quay at Ipswich, ready to progress through the town to the venue for a new play about the Queen's original journey to Suffolk. Next on Victor's programme today is to motor down the River Orwell to the North Sea and to travel on from there to Moulton in Essex, where she'll be dry docked for her annual inspection. Can we put it on the second one? But first, she has to pass through the lock gates at Ipswich wet dock entrance. Victor's passage crews are always made up of enthusiastic sailors and barge fans. This is Alex Willis, who's aboard for the weekend. Alex, so what are you today? Are you mate or what um, today? Oh, I think I'm just deckhand today. You're I just think, a deck yeah. <laughs> Have you done any barging much before? Um, bits and pieces, just helping Wes and Steve. Yeah. But I sail my own boats as well, you see, so um, I've always been on the water since What do you yard. sail? But, uh, I've got a little uh, Morris Griffiths um, traditional yacht, sort nice. of carvel built. As the lower gates start to open, Wes takes Victor off the lock wall and starts to move the barge. Meanwhile, Alex is getting a grip on the way that bargemen work their small ships from Mervyn Stafford, who started work as a barge boy in 1947, working aboard a series of barges on the East Coast until going ashore in 1961. And we'll hear about his experiences later in our year with Victor. At 76, Mervyn's still keen, and his experience and knowledge means that he more than earns his keep as the top hand on this barge. Although it's Saturday afternoon, the port of Ipswich is as busy as ever, working cargo on a string of smaller ships, transporting bulk cargoes and commodities around Europe and the world. The port of Felixstowe, at the mouth of the Orwell, is a different kind of place entirely where ships a quarter of a mile long regularly come alongside, loading and unloading thousands of shipping containers each time they call. It isn't so many years ago that much of Felixstowe's cargo came and went from the now filled in dock basin in barges just like Victory. Once outside the harbour, we pick up the Medusa Channel, named after a frigate commanded by Lord Nelson which used the relatively shallow passage back in the early 1800s. 
it's plenty deep enough for the barge today and the flood tide is starting to help her as she comes around the nose into the wallet. The wind is gradually picking up, but the sea stays relatively calm under the lee of the Essex shore. But it is getting increasingly cold, and you have to think about the bargemen and seafarers of past centuries, wrapped up with the thickest clothes they could muster and cloaked around with thick, heavy oilskins. They'd still be freezing as they stood out on the deck for a 14 or 15 hour day. The winter afternoon light is fading fast and I have to stop filming, but Victor still stands on, past the power station at Bradwell Quay and up the Blackwater to Osi Island, where her anchor will find good holding in the thick and heavy clay river mud, despite a windy night ahead. Tomorrow we'll head up the river to Malton. Join us again soon for more of A Year with Sailing Barge Victor.